starting in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. In this section, we will discuss the DLVO theory. Simply, DLVO is the abbreviation. These are the uh, four scientists name D means Darjagvin, L, L means Lendio, V means Warvi and O means Uarbek. This theory is uh, produced by these four scientists and uh, power purpose these theory are produced. If two charged particles are placed and the distance between these two charged particles are the charges between these particles are changes. So what will occur? What is the result? If uh, distance between the particle or charges between the particle are changes, so what will occur? This theory uh, uh, best uh, explain this phenomena. And DLVO theory uh, explain uh, the uh, stability of the lyophobic collide. Stability of lyophobic collide. Lyophobic collides. We explain uh, this theory with the help of a graph. So first we draw the vertical line. This is Y. And this vertical line represents the energy difference of the particle. Energy difference. And we draw the x-axis line. This is the x-axis. And this line represents the distance between the particle. Distance between the particle. This x axis line represents the distance between the particle. This is the zero point. Above the zero point, this line represents the force of repulsion. This line represent pores of repulsion. Pores of repulsion. And below the zero point, this line represent the attractive forces. The attractive forces. If the same ch uh, if uh, um, two particles having the same charges are placed, so the distance between the particle is increases because they have the same charges and they repulse each other. So this particle we represent it with this curve because this particle repels each other and force of repulsion occurs. So, this is the force, force of repulsion uh, peak and we draw it here. And if the two particles having different charges, so the forces of attraction occur between these charges and we draw below the zero point peak. This is the forces of repulsion peak. This is the force of, sorry, this is the force of attraction and this is the forces of repulsion. We represent it F R. F R means forces of repulsion. And this represent forces of attraction, F A. If we added this part, these two curve. If we edit these two curve, so the net curve is obtained here. This is the net curve. And the net curve is here obtained. If the two particles having different charges, they will attract each other. But if the particle having the same charges, forces, forces of repulsion occur. At the starting point, the particle will repulse each other and the row in the curve will be at this position. But with the passage of time, this particle will attract each other because the surface orbital of the particle will form the bond between at each other and a strong bond formation occur and these colloidal particles will attract each other and cake formation occur and coagulation occur and they will settle down. If they settle down, so the forces of attraction occur and this line will be towards, towards the attraction point. 
विकास पुर से अट्रैक्शन अकर विद द पैसेज ऑफ टाइम दिस पार्टिकल द सर्फिस अर्बिटॉन विल अट्रैक्ट ईच अदर एंड दे विल फॉर्म अ स्ट्रॉन्ग बॉन्ड विद ईच अदर एंड द पार्टिकल विल सिटल डाउन सो at the starting point they will repulse each other this is the force of repulsion but this is the force of attraction this is the force of repulsion and this is the force of attraction because they will attract each other and this point in which the force of repulsion this is the end point of the force of repulsion this point is called the primary maximum primary maximum and this point in which the force of attraction occur this point is called the primary minimum this is the primary minimum this this is the the general the general representation of the dlu theory if some electrolyte are added and and here also the zeta potential will be produced this is the zeta potential z phi means the zeta potential if the electrolyte are added if some electrolyte are added to the colloidal particle so what will occur what will occur to this phenomena if some electrolyte are added here uh, we can here as here we erase all the graph that we best we explain this phenomena first we write if some electrolyte are added some electrolyte are added are added to the colloidal particle c phi mean colloidal particle if some electrolyte are added to the colloidal particle so what will occur we draw again we draw the graph this is the y axis and this is the x axis this is the forces of repulsion and this is the forces of attraction if some electrolyte are added to the colloidal particle if we consider this is the colloidal particle this is the two colloidal particle if some electrolyte are as, uh, are added to it so electrolyte it still form a bond between them this electrolyte will it still bond bond formation occur between the electrolyte and they also form a bond between the two colloidal particle and these bond are loose these bond are like this with some distance if some distance is present between the colloidal particle and they form a bond between with each other so this phenomena is called the flocculation flocculation because plug formation occur this is the flocculation phenomena so if some electrolyte are added to the particle so what will occur with the graph here the particle so this point flocculation occur this is the force of attraction flocculation occur so this point will be below the curve will be below from the zero point and force they will represent the forces of attraction in this point is called the secondary minimum this point is called the secondary minimum but with the passage of time a uh, uh, secondary minimum occur because the electrolyte will suppress the electrolyte will suppress the colloidal particle and if they suppress the colloidal particle and bond formation occur the zeta potential will be decrease zeta potential 
zeta potential will be decrease and the primary minimum the primary maximum is also decrease primary maximum is also decrease the primary maximum is also decrease and the zeta potential is also decrease and this point is called the secondary minimum with the passage of time the secondary minimum point the force of attraction will be less because the electro the the this is the colloidal particle this is the colloidal particle this colloidal particle will absorb the electrolyte if they absorb the electrolyte if they absorb the, the electrolyte so the bond will be less and the particle will be repels each other then the curve will be at this position and the same phenomena occur that we draw uh, uh, with previous graph the particle will again repels and the forces of repulsion occur this is the forces of attraction forces of attraction if i mean force of attraction and again the forces of repulsion occur between the colloidal particle and this uh, this point is the uh, primary maximum and this is the zeta potential uh, uh, during the secondary maximum the zeta potential is is decrease and the uh, primary maximum is also decrease that we shown here this will be decrease and with the passage of time the electrolyte will be absorbed in the force of repulsion occur and again the phenomena occur uh, uh, with the passage of time uh, the particle um, surface orbital will be um, form a bond between with each other and the force of attraction again occur and they will reach to the primary minimum this is the forces of attraction so that's all about the dlv theory uh, uh, if we added electrolyte so the point uh, uh, we show the secondary minimum uh, uh, at here this is the force of attraction but some distance present the, between the uh, um, the particle and this phenomena is called the placulation plaque formation occur generally pla placulation are those phenomena in which the the particle att attract each other but this uh, bond formation is loose bond formation is loose and the particle will move here like this and they uh, doesn't uh, move and doesn't uh, uh, attract uh, nearly each other this phenomenon is called placulation due to this placulation the secondary minimum occur force of attraction occur but with the passage of time the electrolyte will absorb and the phenomena will shown here so that's all about the dlv theory so thank you very much